You've just created a shiny new story and you're excited to show it off to the world. You search for it on Google, but it's missing. Oh no, let's try to figure out what's going on. Google and various other search engines have complicated systems to find, categorize and serve your content. The very first step for Google to populate its search results is to find which web pages, and in our case web stories, exist in the world. Once a new page is discovered, Google visits or crawls the pages to find out what's on it. Next, Google tries to understand what the page is about. This process is called indexing. As it analyzes the content of the page, the information is stored in the Google Index, a huge database stored in many, many, many different servers. Finally, when somebody searches for something, Google ranks your content based on several different factors and serves it on the search result page. Google Discover does things a little differently with more personalized content based on the user's general interests, as there's no question asked in the search box to start with. But the indexing step is still equally important. And while correct indexing doesn't guarantee placement in Discover, incorrect indexing means your story doesn't even have a chance to begin with. All of these are critical steps in ensuring your story can be seen by your users. So let's try to review some tools to make sure your web story is indexed and servable. We've covered the AMP test tool in previous videos and it continues to be a great resource to ensure that your stories are valid and crawlable by Google and other search engines. It also checks to see if you've included appropriate structured data, which helps Google understand your documents better during the indexing step. A second great tool at your disposal is the Search Console, a free service offered by Google that helps you monitor, maintain and troubleshoot your site's presence in Google search results. The index coverage report shows the indexing state of all URLs that Google has visited or tried to visit on your site. By reviewing the error, valid with warnings and excluded tabs, you will be able to detect any issues flagged by Google's crawlers. Also within the Search Console is the URL inspection tool, which performs some web stories and AMP specific checks on your web stories. After running the URL inspection tool, click on Live Test and then View Tested Page, and you can actually see what Google sees when it crawls your page. Use this to make sure that your content looks good when showcased on Search. Now that we've covered the tools to use to make sure your content is getting discovered and indexed, let's talk about some errors that might prevent your content from surfacing. One caveat is that indexing is non-deterministic and there's no guarantee of when your content will be crawled and indexed. The most common mistake is that you might have blocked your pages from being crawled by Google. This might have made sense when you were still working on your pages and didn't want search engines to serve incomplete or unpolished content. It probably happened because you, your developer or your CMS added a noindex tag at the top of your page, or alternatively used a robots.txt file to force search bots to ignore your pages. Removing these restrictions and resubmitting your stories for indexing often solves this issue. Another issue could be that Google might not even know your stories exist. But you can take certain steps to make sure Google is aware of them. This might involve submitting your stories to be indexed one at a time using the URL inspection tool or adding your stories to a sitemap and submitting the sitemap via the sitemaps report in Search Console. We'll link to more details in the description. Generally, you should consider deeply integrating stories into your website, such as linking them from your homepage or category pages where applicable. Links from within your site and to other websites are a critical component of how the web works and really help with discoverability. And one more highly recommended tip is to configure analytics on your page. Not only does this give you insights into where and how your stories are being consumed, but it also helps to cover any potential delays in Search Console data. We'll dive deeper into analytics in an upcoming video, but you can check out the description for documentation if you want to get a head start. Now go forth and make your web stories tasty to your friendly crawling Google robots. Onwards.